Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to teach you introduction of multiprocessor topic of computer organization and architecture. First of all, see introduction. A multiprocessor system is an interconnection of two or more CPUs. So we can say there are two or more CPUs available in my system with uh, connected with memory and input output devices. So as per Flynn's taxonomy, uh, there are four uh, categories available. One is SISD, then SIMD, MISD and MIMD. So multiprocessor uh, will put in MIMD category because uh, it works with multiple instruction, multiple data at same time. A single job can be divided into independent tasks. So we can say that uh, if any uh, large program will be available in my system, so we can divide it into a subtask by manually by programmer or by compiler subdivided program can be executed parallelly so using this way uh, enhance the performance of the uh, processor uh, due to any kind of fault any processor is failed uh, task can be assigned to another processor of the faulty processor so for example we can say i have uh, five processor in my system so one processor is faulty so rest of four uh, processor will complete the task of that faulty processor now characteristics of multiprocessor now first one is reliability improves the reliability of the system so that a failure in one part has a limited effect on the rest of the system as per uh, before example we have already discussed regarding the reliability performance multiprocessing can improve the performance by decomposing a program into parallel executable tasks so we already discussed uh, one large program divided into sub program uh, or sub task or all sub tasks uh, executed parallelly so it means performance will be high multitasking more than two processors are available in multiple program can be executed at same time so there are four or five uh, multiple programs available so we can uh, multiple programs available so we can divide it uh, to each processor so five programs execute same time so we can say that it is multitasking so more than one task will be executed same time <coughs> increase throughput increase throughput because of execution of multiple jobs in parallel portion of the same job in parallel so we can say that uh, in single processor system uh, if uh, in single processor system uh, i have executed one task within 5 minutes but in multi uh, multi processor we can complete within one or two minutes or less than one minutes advantages improve reliability enhance performance of the system multitasking high throughput more economic system in compare to multi computer system uh, <coughs> disadvantages one is more costly uh, compared to uh, single uh, processor complicated operating system required because task is divided into sub task uh, this is the task of uh, operating system and the last one is large main memory required because multiprocessor will access the memory multiprocessor are classified by the way their memory is organized first one is a multiprocessor divided into two parts tightly coupled and loosely coupled so we can say uh, tightly coupled it is also called shared memory multiprocessor and loosely coupled is called distributed memory uh, multiprocessor thank you for watching this video please like share and comment on this video subscribe my channel on youtube uh, press bell icon to get new video notification thank you